Hello everyone, it's everyone. So I'm Lady T506. Welcome to my channel. I'm here for Love and Hip Hop Miami Season 1, Episode 2. So we starting off with Pleasure P and Bucky. Now, we meeting up on the beach. And she starts off the meeting wrong because he on the phone before she even get there. Soon as she get out of the car, that's right, get off the phone. Your woman's here, get off the phone. I'm like, girl, can this man finish his conversation? Because he was on the phone before you got there. It ain't like he made a call soon as you showed up and was talking to being disrespectful. He on the phone. He could have been on the phone with his mom. But how you not know? He could have been making money out here, making um scheduling to make some, for some events so he can make some money. But you starting off on, mm -mm, get off the phone. Your woman's here. I'm like, okay, we starting off like this. But he let to know, you know, you didn't move down here. I've been had your back. I was there when Scrappy broke your heart. And she's like, Scrappy would have never let another man disrespect me. Okay, so we just gonna forget that Scrappy proposed to Erica while you was sitting right next to him. Like, Erica, Scrappy was between Bucky and Erica. Turned to Erica and was like, I want you to marry me. And Erica was like, yes. He disrespect you. He ain't need no other man to disrespect you because he did it right there on national TV. And you ran off talking about something. You said you wasn't going to do me like this. But Scrappy wouldn't let another man disrespect you. But she in her confession, though, talking about some Scrappy, He even though we did been through some things. Now, I'm paraphrasing. Scrappy was there for me. when He had my back when we was together. But he got with Erica and proposed for it. Didn't, it wasn't like that he was with you and then he would just turn to Erica like, you know what, let's get married. No, they had to been together for a minute, been singing each other, getting more comfortable back with each other when he proposed to Erica. Now, granted, they not together no more. They done broke up and he didn't got engaged to Bambi. And now I think they done got married. But you over talking about like Scrappy was the best man ever in the world. But he embarrassed you and, and, and it got engaged to somebody else right there in your face. But Scrappy would have never done anything like that to you. I'm like, okay. And I, I was hoping that Bucky would have finally found love. Like after 10 years of being on reality shows. Granted, it's only been like three reality shows. She was on Flavor Love and she was on her, even though that was a fake show. Then she got on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and thought her and Scrappy was going to be together forever and he just embarrassed her. Now she on here cutting up several foods and I guess she's like, you know what? I really don't have to deal with this. I could just leave you right now and have, get rid of a headache, but hey. I was hoping I was hoping that Bucky would have finally found love and it looks like in this episode she hasn't. So we got Amara and her friends and she's telling them about her meetup with young Hollywood and how he said that her afro was not professional. It was all this other thing. I still think her afro was cute and I'm glad to see a woman with chocolate skin and embracing it because me when I was younger I did not like my dark skin. But now I was like looking back on it I don't think I would look right light skin. I'm just saying. But they sitting there like girl don't let that man get to you because there's a lot of young girls that are going to be looking up to you. Don't even pay that man no mind. We here with you. We got your back. Don't even worry about it. So her homegirls they go to the party sometime later and they see dude and that's like okay we seen you was talking about a home girl and her looks it's like yeah that thing on her head that thing on her head is called her hair it's called an afro it may have been a wig but it's hair it's not like some doggone she got a stick on her head or something stupid it's her hair but she let it be known whether i want to rock my fro if i want to rock crochets if i want to go bald headed my hair is not who i am and i totally agree with that but he was like well, if you go out with me, then I will apologize for her. I'm like, you need to apologize anyway. Like, her hair is not going to determine what how her music is going to sound coming out of her voice box. But anyways, we got Joy. Joy is Trina's cousin and also Trick Daddy's wife. But they ain't been together in like four years and haven't seen each other in four years. And it's going to be kind of awkward because it's Joy's birthday. And for whatever reason, she decides to celebrate her birthday at the same club that they going to be performing at. And Trick Daddy just, <laughs> see, what, he, what he be saying be like just really getting me. And I'm, I know y'all have seen those memes out there when they say he look like Florida Evans. And now every time he pop on the scene, that's all I see in my head. And I do not like that. 
But Trick said he ain't looking forward to you no know, celebrating someone's birthday. He ain't he ain't spoke to him for you. It's like why is she even there? But I'm like, yeah, all the clubs in Miami, and you go to the club where he's performing it, and y'all ain't seen each other in four years. Seem kind of awkward and odd to me too. So let's get on to this scene with gunplay. There was so much going on and so much distraction. One, he got on this fight blazer like he's trying to be professional in in what they got going on, even though they had a pool hall. No shade to pool halls. But we got a girl named Scrawberry. Now, when he said Scrawberry, I thought he was just, you know, you know, as people they be saying screens and stuff like that. No, her name was Scrawberry. That was like, okay, he got on this blazer trying to look professional. We got Scrawberry over here. We have Miami Tip rolling her tail at him. And then he got this, his dress is just one dread at this point. Like, they are no longer separate. And I'm like, I noticed that last week, but I forgot to break it up. Like, if you're going to have dreads, please keep them nice and neat and clean. Because at this point, this it just looks like it stinks at this point. Because it's one big mat dread. I seen some dudes like that, but his wasn't just one. It was like matted up into like four big old dreads. And it was very, very like I couldn't stop looking at it even though I didn't want to. But I'm like, boy, if you're going to have dreads, please. This is a PSA to everybody. If you're going to have dreads, please have them look nice and neat and look like they are clean. Because what he got going on does not look like it's clean. Like it was a whole mess. He got his blazer on trying to look professional. He got this one big old matted up dread. You know, Miami tip is rolling her tail on here. I'm like, you can get it anytime. And then we got strawberry. Yeah. So we got Bucky at home looking like she trying to you know do a fake and bake so she can show her man Pleasure P what's going on over there. Now, I know I'm not the only one to call her put something in the microwave. I know I can't be the only one, but hey, if you fake it till you make it. But while she's trying to get everything for ready for her man, her man and I would on a date with his ex. Now, what I'm getting and deducing from this scene with Pleasure P and his ex is he gonna continue to see Bucky and he's gonna continue to see the ex and whoever he feels like is better for him at this moment that's who he's gonna be with like Bucky she's a lot and do I really want to have this in my relationship especially if I'm trying to get my group back together and she's trying to sabotage it at every corner or do I want to be with this ex who up and left me for whatever reasons I don't know why what should I choose but I'm like, dang, Becky, Bucky, I'm like, we two, two episodes in, and it's like you already using your man. And I was really, I was really rooting for you, girl. I really was. So, we have Kiara popping up on Miami tip while she's at the strip, strip club. She got her homegirl there for backup, because, you know... Gunplay Denard told her I was at the club. Miami Tip was trying to get with me and I was telling her no. And this scene went nothing like I thought it was going to happen. I thought that it was going to be drunk thrown because when she sees Miami Tip, there is a table in front of them. Now, like any Mona Scott Young show, if there is a table separating people who do not like each other, a fight's going to ensue. So I was like, okay, we already have this table here. Drinks are going to be thrown. But Miami Tip let her know, first of all, I did not know you were his, his girl. I don't know if you're the main girl, if you're the sad girl. But either way, he don't have no rang on. So I'm going to do what I want to do. Now, I thought those were fighting words. But it didn't turn because Miami Tip get to hitting on Kiara like, if I had known you were there, I would have been trying to get it on with you. And I was like, see, I thought fight was going to sue, not Miami Tip trying to steal Kiara away from gunplay. That's not how I thought things was going to turn out. But I guess Kiara was like, um, I was all ready to fight this girl. But now I, don't, I think I should leave right quick because this is not what I was here to do. So. That was just the very thing went on. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or video response. And like I always, I don't think my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.